All right there, YouTube. So, got the mech here. I just fired it up a little while ago here to pull it over to the shop, do a little work on it. And uh, fired it up, walked away for probably 20, 30 minutes, let it run, and come back. And the truck still has zero air pressure. It's not building air at all. Now most of the time, when you have a truck that doesn't build any air at all, or the compressor fails to kick in, most of the time it's a stuck on loader valve. If it way over pressurizes and it won't kick the compressor out, it's generally the air governor. But that's not always 100% true, but generally that's the case. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go under the hood, and I'm gonna tap on the unloader valve with the hammer and see if I can get this truck to build air. And if it does, I'll go ahead and I'll pull it over to the shop and I'll take the unloader valve apart and clean it up and put it back together. seconds later you can see we're already starting to build air pressure again so go ahead and give it a few rpms and let it build some air pressure Okay, now they do sell rebuild kits for the unloader valves. Uh, it comes with, you know, new O-rings and new gasket and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't happen to have one handy, so we're just going to clean this up and put it back together with the existing parts. Normally that's just fine, and it will work. Find out for sure once we get it apart if I have to stop and go run and get a rebuild kit then uh, that's what I got to do but generally you can get away with just uh, cleaning them up putting them back together here so just got to take it's one night I'm gonna go grab a 9 16th here real quick for that one Hey, pretty baby, are you ready for me? It's your good rockin' daddy down from Tennessee. Just out of Austin, bound for San Antonio. Got the radio blasting with the bird dog on. Speed trap up ahead in Selma Town. They know local yoga gonna shut me down. Me and the boys got the same thing. And then these here are your, your unloader valves. We need to town. pull these out. This one's pretty well stuck. Doesn't even want to come out. See all that burnt, dried up crap on there? That's what's making this valve stick. Uh, this this is a really, really common problem on EGR trucks. Uh, this truck doesn't have EGR, but it still does happen from time to time. So we got to go through and clean these things up and. The O-rings still look okay. They're not cut or nicked or anything, so gasket still looks okay. Shouldn't really be a big deal. Or just get these cleaned up and put this back together, and should be good to go.
Just give it a little quick light shot of some PV blaster or other type of lube in there. And we're just going to put it back together. You can see how freely that valve moves now. The spring pushes it right out, whereas when I took this apart, they were stuck down in there. So yeah, you see these won't even stay down in on their own anymore. They just, they pop right back out. It's the way it's supposed to be. Alright, so that's all back together here now. We're going to go ahead and fire the truck back up, cycle the air compressor a couple of times, make sure everything's working like it's supposed to. So it's now working like it's supposed to. Pretty simple fix, but if you don't know what it is or how to do it, it could be a big deal, I guess. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. Thank you. Have a great day.